Day number 11th of our whiskey advent calendar. We are almost there. It's a shame that it's almost over. You ready? He's ready. Let's go. Hey, what's going on everyone? I am Carlos and thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone that has continued to check out the channel. You are amazing. And if you are new here, you are amazing as well. Let me just bring you up to speed. We are on day number 11, not two, but 11 of our uh, holiday whiskey advent calendar. Yes, we started 12, almost 12 days ago. And we've been doing samplings from Flaviar that have been in this uh, makeshift um, advent calendar that I made myself from those samplings, obviously. Now, we are on day number 11, it's pretty cool. Some nutcrackers cheering or toasting or, you know, clanging their bottles. And it's actually pretty cool. So, this is all whiskeys from around the world. So we have some Scotch, some Asian Pacific ones, some bourbon. We even had a mezcal in here at some point, I think halfway through. So it has been a great whiskey advent calendar. And what we're doing is that we're doing blind tastings. And then, so these are blinds. And then I go through my bar and we kind of taste and review a bottle that I haven't had in a while. So let's get into it. Let's get started. So day number 11, just like every other day, I'm gonna take this sampling out and not see what is in. Damn, did I break that? Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this um, advent calendar. Oh, one, wasn't that much. It was only 20 bucks, but I can use it again next year at the same time so that will be great instead of me having to buy another one we have our sample here some of these samples are coming out really light so i'm not sure if you guys can see that but that is light all right so we have our gun kern we will pop this actually I'll put that there pop it boom not the same as actually having a cork, but either way, it is what it is. Ooh. Whoa, that's a healthy pour. All right, so we're gonna shut it back up. Again, I'm not looking, have the uh, thing covered. So let's shake it a little bit. You know, it's been a good run. Um, I actually enjoy doing this. And, you know, I might do this again throughout the year um in 2022 maybe we'll do something for like i don't know easter or valentine's day i don't know i'll have to see i can already kind of smell this as i'm shaking it, it does smell like fruits kind of like scotchy but let's go in for a smell it's it has a little bit of a funk so it's a fruit and then it goes into a funk it definitely goes into like a really weird smokiness smell. Like a little too, too peaty. Like smoke that has been over, over smoked. Or wood that has been really, really over smoked. You know, I gotta say, it's, it's definitely not my favorite smell. I mean, it does have good fruit smells. The proof isn't big. It's it's kind of mellow. But that that's definitely what I am smelling the most. Very, very smokiness, like to the max. But but like to the max that it wasn't that it's not good, at least on the smell. Anyways, let's go in for a taste. Cheers. Okay. It's not bad on the taste, actually. You do get that smokiness flavor. 
seems a little bit proofier than like a regular scotch. So I'm, in so I'm inclined to say this isn't a scotch, um, but I might be wrong. Bright fruits, um, a little bit of toasted almonds I I'm getting. Yeah. That smokiness peat flavor, but kind of going towards overly smoked, if, if that's a thing, I don't know. But a lot of bright fruits is what I'm getting. Apples, um, apricots, peaches, yeah. It kind of tastes maybe like French oak also. Like kind of like when you put French oak staves in something. Um, mm. Not sure if I really got that pinpointed, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Let's finish this off. I need to smell the glass again. So yeah, that's honestly all I am getting from that. The smokiness of that overpowers it, you know? It's not bad on the taste. I don't particularly like it on the smell. Either way, let's see what this is and let's check it out. Hmm, okay, so it's not a scotch. It is Amrut Single Malt Whiskey, product of India. And this is hmm, 92 proof. So let's go to our little flavor uh, wheel, Asian Pacific. Birkenridge, where's oh, the Asian Pacific? Oh, there we go. And. All right. So it's a single malt Indian whiskey, caramel, oak, spicy notes, sweet, smoky, fruit, tropical, vanilla, and ripe bananas. So I didn't get the ripe bananas. I did get the vanilla and the caramel, obviously. Um, you know, I didn't get that it was spicy. I really didn't, um, or the sweet. It, t it definitely tasted the oak and the smokiness. That is, and obviously the fruits. Um, was not bad, but it's not really, I guess, in my wheelhouse or something that I would get. Well, that is that. Let's go and move on to what we have today to taste. And I am choosing Old Elk Straight Bourbon. So shout out to uh, Marty at Wh Whiskey Nose. He is, and if you haven't checked out Whiskey Nose, it's a great channel, Marty is a great guy. He is really, really cool and he puts out good content. So he recommended this to me. Um, I finally found it in my area and now you can find them everywhere. But when I first asked him about it, you can only find a few bottles. And I asked, so I was like, huh, he was drinking it one time. He had a bunch of store picks. He was drinking it on his live one time. And I was like, hey, what do you think of it? Is it, is it good or is it just the, the uh, store picks? And he said, it's good. I would definitely go and buy it. So trusted his judgment and I went for it. It's a good, good whiskey um, or bourbon. It's, I don't know, maybe I have to drink a little bit more of it to have it become a favorite of mine. Um, but it is overall a good, and I do recommend as well to go and buy it. But let's go in for a smell and then a taste. Mmm, cocoa, caramel. Yeah, that cocoa note is prominent, like cocoa beans. A Little bit of spiciness. Like a cinnamon spice. Hmm, very sweet, but it's not the caramel. Oh no, that is creamy caramel. Some vanilla and sugar. Mm -hmm. Has a really, really good nose. Let's go in for a taste. Cheers. You know, 
I get like an oakiness, like wood. I get that sweet caramel, that vanilla, a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of spiciness, but like a cinnamon spice. And uh, the cocoa beans, for sure. You know, now that I'm revisiting this, it's a really, really good pour. You know, shout out again to Whiskey Nose Marty over there because this is actually really good. I'm not sure why I don't go back to it too much. Cheers. Yeah. The proof is perfect on this. It's a nice sipper. It's 44. I mean, not perfect, let's say. It's a very low proof, but it's an easy daily sipper. Um, I'd like it to have a little bit more proof, but you kind of make up for it with a little bit of tingly cinnamon spice, right? Anyways, you guys should definitely pick one up. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching this video. Last day is up tomorrow, and we should have um, some more videos coming out as well. Please do me the favor and subscribe because that would be amazing and you guys would really help me out. You could also like, comment, click that bell icon and that would help out as well. But you guys just watching helps out. I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, put away that am root. <laughs> but I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.